Hello everybody. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, Rat Air mouse from Mad Cats unboxing. I've been waiting for quite a long time for this um, since they went bankrupt and then they uh, have been resurrected all of a sudden uh, last week and then I decided to order a mouse that I was waiting for quite a long time. It was quite expensive, 200 pounds uh, from Maplin, minus 20 pounds, uh, minus 10 percent. I think it was 10 percent discount for my first purchase at Maplin online, which I didn't even know uh, Maplin actually still existed. Um, so I was searching for this mouse online and I found, found it on Maplin. And the best deal I got, actually they, I think they were the only ones with with this mouse in stock. Uh, Amazon didn't have them any in stock, so I just got it from um, uh, from Maplin with 10% discount, so 179.99. Um, and as you can see, the box didn't really contain any extras, like uh, my previous mice, m uh, mouse or mice from uh, Mad Cats. Any any attachments? Nothing. Those bo those uh, boxes in both corners, upper and left and upper right corners, they were just uh, empty. I was kind of expecting something more in them. It's just a mouse cable and a mouse pad. So when I when I grabbed it first, I, I thought it was really light, and my first impression was it, it, it kind of felt quite cheap uh, because it's all made of plastic. Um, but I will get to that in a minute. Uh, I was just trying to get through to the uh, mouse pad, um, hoping that there is other other bits in the box, but clearly not. So the mouse mat feels quite heavy uh, and sturdy, good quality. Uh, this is the bottom and it's, it's, it's quite rubbery. And um, I've got a glass table in my shed office and it sticks to it really, really well. It's not moving anywhere. And I'm, even, if, even when I'm trying to move it uh, slightly, it's just, it's like stuck, stuck there. So um, here I've noticed, the first thing I've noticed is at the top the actual mouse mat doesn't quite fit the, um, uh, the the charger mat, whatever they call it, whatever you're gonna call it. But uh, um, the corners of that mat haven't been cut uh, precisely, so it's it's kind of sticking out a little bit. So um, uh, we'll, we'll show you, I'll show you that in the late, later in the video. Uh, and there's some stickers, mat cut stickers. Uh, some quick guide, uh, and that's about it. So I'm going to show you the mouse from up close. Um, it, it is pretty shiny. Uh, the the buttons are they feel a little bit plasticky, uh, comparing to the Rat Nine mouse I have, uh, which uh, that one feels a little, a little bit more rubbery. Uh, so it's like the quality of the coating is it's higher than this, but maybe that's uh, that's just me. Um, so you know, there's a I'm not sure what this is. Though. It's like a button at the bottom. Um, here I'm trying to show you the palm adjustment so you can't actually take it off like you could in rat, rat 9 and later in the video you will see that uh, it's got light in the palm rest so that's probably what that's why so there's a cable in there uh, you can't adjust any anything on that mouse like you could on rat 9 uh, there is no weights um, this uh, wheel is more rubbery uh, than it well it is rubbery the Rat 9 did, did have it uh, aluminium. Uh, it felt it's just it just felt different. The first impression was that mouse feels kind of cheap, uh, but we, well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, as you can see here, the mat actually doesn't actually fit well in in the um, in the charging mat 
as you can see. So I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It doesn't really make any difference when you're actually using it, but I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit anal when it comes to things like this. It should really fit well, but it doesn't. It's not perfect, but hey ho. Uh, this, this is uh, the bottom. From up close, you can see like a hexagon shape. Um, not sure why. There's a reason for this, but it looks cool, but. Maybe it's got a purpose for this, but I don't know. It feels sticky. And there's a label for the mouse mat. And the uh, USB port, and you can see the cutouts. Uh, it's actually um, for that, the cable, the plug has got actually the same cutout, so it feels perfect, perfectly. And when you, when you put it in, uh, it's not wobbly, it's not wonky. It actually feels very sturdy when it's in and you can't and you can't pull it out very easily it sits there nicely here this is the actual the, i call it let's call it a charging mat you can see the mat cuts uh, shaped glue So, um, the mouse mat is supposed to stick to that glue, but because it doesn't fit to the uh, charging mat perfectly, well, we, sh we shall see. Uh, so this is the uh, rat, rat Air on the left and Rat 9 on the right. It's actually my third Rat 9, because I love the shape of it. I love the volume button, which is the, the wheel I'm using, not the, uh, the middle wheel, the third button. Um, I'll, uh, you know, I do use volume on my PC for certain things, and I do love it to use it under my thumb. Uh, so I'm going to show you the mouse from up close. You can see uh, one more time uh, what it looks like comparing to the Rat 9. So this is this mouse has been used a few months. Not very long because, uh, like I said, I had two uh, Rat9 before that one. Um, uh, I'm actually using one at work now, and uh, this is my latest one, so it's newest. Uh, but you can see um, the wear and tear on the buttons. But as you can see, I'm just comparing that you've got this built in uh, Allen key where you can adjust your thumb area to whatever angle you want and uh, you can move it up up and down um, there's a switch back and forward buttons so the same as um, I was comparing the movement so when I press back and forward buttons uh, I could notice straight away the movement of the pl plastic uh, plastic bit on the mat sorry on the rat air mouse uh, but then um, when I was pressing these buttons here on that Rat9, you could also see the plastic was bending slightly. Um, maybe that's something I didn't notice before. <coughs> and obviously the battery. Uh, the new Rat9, Rat Air doesn't have any battery. It's got a capacitor and it's being charged uh, from the mouse mat. You can see that these, these attachments, um, I was trying to see if that, that, that attachment actually fits the new Rat Air mouse, because I kind of like that one. I'm showing you the, um, the mountings, holes, and what the difference is, is uh, in Rat, air so obviously i've got these weights that i could use for you can see i was taking dust off because i actually don't use them very much the mouse is heavy enough for me it doesn't have to be heavier than what it is the original mouse uh, rat 9. so this is how he was mounting these weights on rat 9. So 
this video is supposed to be about right there but i just wanted to show you and compare the old mouse and the difference uh, between the different levels of customization so now you can see both mice uh, side by side uh, the button to change the profiles not the profiles the, the dpi setting on the rat 9 is up and down the button on uh, rat air is only uh, going one way you, should, you can see the arrow there so you can't go up and down you have to uh, loop through uh, all the uh, four dpi settings Uh, you, I'm not sure if you can see it, I think I forgot to show you, but the, uh, the Rat Air, you can plug the mouse directly with a USB cable, so to avoid the mouse mat, and apparently this is uh, supposed to help with any delays. Uh, this island key doesn't quite fit the new mouse, so I'm trying to take the, the plastic attachment. It doesn't actually properly so I'm gonna grab my uh, proper tool here you can actually see that um, the mouse isn't isn't touching the mouse mat charging mat and it's still working uh, you can see that by the light on the palm rest uh, it's supposed to work for about 10 seconds which it did I think from from what I was using it um, in the last 24 hours it actually lasts 10 seconds you can see this is the rat 9 attachment doesn't quite fit doesn't fit at all actually uh, so that's a shame because i was hoping i could use it uh, so you can see the uh, different brackets here different mountings completely different Here I wanted to show you the differences in weight, so um, I usually use my thumb and my little pinky finger to lift the mouse and move it around and the, ba uh, the, the Rad 9 was quite well balanced and it, uh, maybe I just got used to it but it w I think it was quite well balanced because it didn't uh, lean forward or backwards when I lifted it whereas I, the first thing I noticed when I lifted the Rad Air mouse it, it seems like the front is heavier than the back of it so this is how I was, grab I was grabbing my Rat9 mouse usually almost in the middle and then when I grab my uh, Rat Air you can see the front and I'm not trying to do this purposely it's just the way it is it's, it's actually heavier so I'm, I'm considering sticking my weights at the back of the mouse so it's but then maybe it's just a case of getting used to it because the mouse is really really light uh, you can see the first movements and um, it is responsive I haven't, I haven't tested this in games or anything like that yet
So the, ni so the nice feature here is uh, the fact that the mouse is constantly on and you just grab it and move it and it's moving. Uh, whereas in the Rat 9 you had to click it to activate it, t uh, wait two, three, four seconds and then you can uh, you could start moving it. Uh, which is this is this quite this is quite nice. So now I'm trying to play with the software and uh, it seems similar. It is not the same as the last one, the last Mad Cat software, profile profile editor. So I'm just trying to show you the breathing effect of red. Uh, so I think this it's a bit buggy because I actually set it to blue and it's red. So uh, next time I changed it to blue and then press apply it. Uh, it then changed to blue. Then first green and then yeah, so um, I think it, um, it's definitely buggy because it, it, it does not start with Windows. Uh, now it's blue. So uh, the this, the new software does not start with Windows like the old profile editor. And um, which is a bit disappointing. I'm not sure what to do uh, yet. Um, maybe there's a command that I can uh, silently add it to startup um, without the actual program to be launched in the middle of my screen. Um, so this this is the software now on my screen. Uh, like I said, it doesn't start with Windows. I have to uh, start it manually. And as soon as it started, you could see the profile uh, pop up. Profile, uh, not the profile. Yeah, the DPI settings. Um, uh, in the corner and uh, here you can see that on the first page you can um, uh, what you can configure so you can drag and drop these uh, all these different options into diff these different uh, squares next to these uh, the mouse button on the software uh, favorites I'm not quite sure what it is yet um, and then the custom is where you can uh, enter your own commands, like test. Um, and then you just drag and drop it, like so. Here you can see the settings for DPI, and with that button you can only cycle through these settings. You can't go up and down like uh, you could on the Rad 9, for example. Uh, this is, um, well, reduce any unwanted cursor movement with lift of height adjustment. So I'm not sure what the, it's, uh, it's apparently the default is set to dynamic, but um, there is no dynamic option. There's only two millimeters and three millimeters. I'm not sure what the dynamic option here is. Uh, this allows you to go to Windows mouse settings. And then you, if you switch back to profile settings and then on a DPI, uh, you can see that you can the button, the middle button actually does only the cycle and then you can configure the DPI up or down with different, with different buttons. Um, this obviously, uh, you can, so what, what happens when you press that uh, precision aim button? Uh, pol Polaroid settings, um, determines how often input data is sent to the host computer. Uh, higher value will mean that input data from the mouse will be sent at an increased rate, removing any bottlenecks on performance. And angle snap. The feature corrects deviations in cursor movement to produce consistent input. For example, when turned on, line drawn in paint will appear smooth. Um, well, we'll see about that. Uh, these here you can obviously change different colors. So you got different uh, themes, settings for uh, separately for your mouse and for the mouse pad. Uh, you've got breathing effect, cyclic effect and rainbow effects. And then if you click on uh, the mouse mat, uh, you, so you have to click what you want to change color for, whether it's, uh, it's the mouse or uh, the mouse mat. So <coughs> I uh, 
So when the uh, no effect is selected, uh, it's basically a solid color, whatever color you select. Now, uh, which I prefer. That's um, that's about that's about it. Now I'm going to, I'm actually running the old MadCat software side by side, uh, the profile editor. Uh, so let me show you what it looks like, um, if there's any differences. And you can see it's quite similar, although it's not, it's not the same. So in settings, you can see that I can press up and down with the DPI button or settings. So I can change that. I don't have to cycle through all four settings. I can actually go back up and down and I, and on the uh, on the Rad 9, I also have this uh, little LED light that shows me which which profile I'm actually using now, which I don't have on the Rad 9 on the Rad Air now. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to miss it or not. Uh, we shall see. Uh, and then under programming, <coughs> uh, you also have profiles, and then you can change different. You can change the keys like you can on that on rad air. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, and if you have any questions or you would like me to check something for you, let me know in the comment section.